Hey, how y'all doing, Major Slacky? All right, let's play some more Far Cry on the absolutely impossible, unforgiving, realistic difficulty setting. I'm playing the damn level. This is part three of four, and this is just basically a war of attrition against a whole bunch of fat boys whom I have to approach with um, eh, walk softly, carry a big stick, and treat with kick gloves the whole thing there. You can see them all out there on my purple people spotter, a whole bunch of fat boys. And there they are, there's four of them. And we're basically underpowered. We don't have enough ammo to take them take down them all. Uh, so I'm gonna have to do this strategically and hope that they somehow um, either take some friendly fire or they're out of the way uh, when I wanna pass by. And here's an, yet another fat boy. These this is funny here. These two guys they they're squaring off against each other, but they're both shooting rockets at each other. Both from the right arm, so they're missing, right? Because they're kind of like right facing each other. I'm sitting there. Dang! They could just be hitting each other. They'd be doing my job for me. But uh, things are not so lucky for the old slacks here, so I'm gonna have to take it down the hard way. And I eventually run out of ammo. They are trash talking each other. It's all over for you now. You want a piece of me? <laughs> Both is about as bright as a bag of hammers. Completely missing, even though they're at point blank range. <laughs> yeah. I think I eventually get one here. Even at this range. Going for headshots, and I ran out of. Cry vision. Oh yeah, and then I, I just abandon that idea and I go for another fat boy off on the right there when I spot him. This one right here, just yeah, that one right there. So this is what I'm talking about when you're taking on fat boys. All you have to do is put a hill in between you and the fat boy, and all those rockets will smash into the hill, and they can't touch you. And then you just sit there and you know headshots on it until he dies. That's what I'm doing. Got a perfect, perfect death lead on this guy. Just gonna use up all my ammo, but I eventually get him. I did get him. There he goes. He's dead. And now I have to go back and get some more ammo because, as you can see, I'm running out. What do you do after you kill all the fat boys? What you do is you make your way up to the radar. Okay, there's a big, um, not radar, satellite dish, okay? It's a gigantic dish, okay, satellite dish there. Make your way up there, and at the bottom of it, you'll find a sniper rifle, okay? Which is going to be very, very useful to take down the base. And also at that position, you'll have, like, the high ground on the base. You have a beautiful view of the base from the high ground. So that's what you do next after you can manage to take down all these fat boys. But it's a bit of a, um, a Super Mario thing to get to that position. You have to like go across this log, which goes across this lava river, which if you fall in, of course, you die instantly. And then there's this other thing, this rock you have to jump off, and I'll show you about that um, right near the end of this video. Right now I'm just grabbing some more ammo, including some nades from Renade Launcher. And I'm going to go upstairs and see what ammo's been left up there. Let's so get some more ammo here. For my OICW. There we go. So we got lots of, uh, of grenades for the grenade launcher for this weapon. I'm going to save that for the base at the end of the level. And it's back to business. Back to more fat boys and working our way over to that satellite dish. Here I'm just hunkering down waiting for my stamina to recharge. And up and at him. I have no idea what I'm doing here. And 
Oh, now I'm looking for the invisible helicopter. I've never actually been able to locate this helicopter. You can hear it with binoculars. But where it is, I do not know. <laughs> Looked all over for this helicopter. And I see something, there's a fat boy there. And eventually I spot another locust, I believe. Is that a fat boy or a locust? Let's hit the screen here. Okay, maybe it's a fat boy. Yeah, it's a fat boy. And I'm thinking maybe I should go a little closer just to save ammo. Go closer, Slack. Go closer. Attaboy. Eh. <laughs> That's not close enough. Look, more. Yeah, more. Don't be scared. Get in there. Atta boy. Atta boy. So I don't know if the game is glitched out on me here. Um, this is always the case on this level. There's some kind of mysterious invisible helicopter over there. You can see the radar there, or the satellite just there in the. Uh, at the top right corner, right there you can see it. That's where you're headed. See that? Right there, right just above the gun there? That's where you want to get to. When you get there, there's a sniper rifle at the bottom. And look at here, we got a mercenary squaring off with a fat boy. Alright, 10 bucks on the fat boy. And of course, uh, we won. <laughs> now that he's down, let's work on the fat boy. Headshots, of course. I actually get this guy from this distance. He's coming for me. I don't know what happened to Mick and Mac who were squaring off against each other. It just went down. Those two fat boys squaring off against each other. They guess they lost interest in, you know. Went off looking for trouble elsewhere. They're talking to each other, trash talking each other. You want to call it a truce? Okay, let's call it a truce. And then they just go and they shake hands. They go, okay, that was fun. Then. <laughs> so that was a break. There's see, there's a clear view of the satellite just that we have to get through. So we get up there, and just on the left of that satellite dish is a perfect view of the base that you eventually have to take down before you finish off the level and get into the final level of Far Cry Volcano so that's where you're going that's my ultimate destination that's coming up next video I'll show you all about great getting the sniper rifle and sniping the hell out of that base there there is another way to get to that base you take the road up but I wouldn't recommend that take the high ground take them all down using the sniper rifle and easy peasy, nice and easy. Listen to the slack and you will not get whacked. Right? You know that, eh? Yeah. And I believe what happens here is I actually finally locate the last locust. He's right there. This is the guy I've been looking for. And I don't want him ruffling my feathers as I'm sniping the base which has happened to me during a practice run. It's like he's sitting there way over there minding his own business or, you know, presumably, but as soon as you get up and grab the sniper rifle, all of a sudden he comes on the scene and starts flanking you. So and I finally figured this out. So he's going to go down. Priority number one, he's got to go down. And I don't care if I spend all my ammo doing it. He's got to go down. Down, he's down now. So that's it. It is now safe to go up and grab the sniper rifle, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. And um, to get there, you have to jump across this rock here. Jump across there, and you're home free. And we're coming up to the end of this video, so hey, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and join me next. Little, join me next time when I take on part four, or rather the last part of the damn level of Far Cry. 
and we take down the base using the sniper rifle like I talked about and stuff like that there and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining hey don't forget to give the old slackster a thumbs up <laughs> yeah alright that's it slack is out